That's right, Joel, a big win for the city, the county and the restaurant industry. A lot of those businesses, they experienced record crowds over the last few days. Business was booming for sure. To say Backyard Bistro has been busy may be an understatement. The restaurant is across the street from Carter Finley Stadium and has been packed with people since Thursday. We love to see a weekend packed. We love to see it. Uh, comparatively speaking, I mean, you're looking at 200, 300% increase on what a normal Saturday would be. Jesse Gibson, who is the bar manager at the restaurant, says they had to bring in more employees to handle the crowd, especially on Saturday, the day of the big matchup. It was a long day. We had people pulling 13, 14 hour days. Um, and everybody that seemed to walk in and out, uh, smiles on faces in and out, you know, it was great. Great for the hospitality industry, which saw a boom in customers over the last few days. For more people dining out, visitors filling up hotels and shopping local, the impact will soon show in dollars and cents. The actual economic impact on the region hasn't been tallied yet but it's projected to bring in at least 12 million based on ticket sales data. The actual impact of the stadium series, I would say was, I mean, monumental. But not everybody saw it that way. The traffic coming over here, we've been to Stanley Cup, World Series, every outdoor game the Caps have been in, and this is by far the worst event I've ever been to in my life. The traffic complaints didn't just come from Cap fans. Kane's fans were also a bit frustrated. I feel like we're all tailgaters here in Carolina and, you know, obviously we, we know how to do things and you'd think they'd have it open and ready to go like professionals, but I um, guess not. So it's clear Raleigh is ready for the big stage. They can handle those big events, but with every success, there are lessons learned and challenges. And according to those fans that waited hours to get into Carter Finley, they would say traffic is an area that they should improve on. In Raleigh tonight, I'm Jamie's Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah, an unforgettable night with some pretty unforgettable profits too. Jamie's, thank you.